I'm not hearing much from you this morning. Are we okay, Marcus and Daniel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, excellent. All right, so let us go back to this to sharing the screen now, right? This time we're going to write our notes, but we're going to write our notes together. So I'm not, going to, I'm not going to be the one who's going to be giving you everything. You're going to tell me what to write. So let us just clear all drawings. And we said our topic was exponents and indices. So let us rewrite that. Everybody had written exponents and indices in the book already, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right, so this is our topic. What's the first thing? that we know about exponents or indices? What's the first thing we want to write in our notebook? notebook. The, the like meaning of exponents. The meaning of exponents and indices. And what is the meaning? I'm sorry, I'm not hearing that person. Speak a little louder. So we have a, uh, um, you know, sometimes you have to talk. Um, just go, go again. Let me hear again. Go again. This person is uh, what to do with a number. Oh, so exponents tells us what to do with the number. Very good, Casey. So exponents, so we're writing our notes together. You know, remember, I'm not the one who is writing. We are all writing together. So exponents tell us what to do with the numbers that's fine that's a good start so let us continue it usually has so i want you to talk talk to us about the parts now what are the two parts what are the two parts the base base and the index the base and the Ex the base and the exponent so who can put that in a sentence now put it in a nice sentence to continue on this Anybody? Sir, it is made by the base and the exponent. All right. So it is made our um, for, 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 for more wordy purpose which we can use. It usually has two parts. So it usually usually has two parts. And we're going to call it. Or we can say which are the, the base and the exponent. I hope everybody is writing at, um, at the same time we're writing together. Base and the exponent. So now that we mentioned base and exponent, we can't leave it there. We have to tell them what the base and the exponent is, right? Who can tell what the base and what the exponent is? The base number at, at the bottom. Say that again for me, Casey. No. The base. The number at the bottom is the large number to the bottom. Okay, that is good. We can work with that. Or we can say larger. Is a larger number to the bottom while the exponent is what now? The smaller number to the top. All right. So now we're going to put in an example. I can't really necessarily, or oh, probably I can. Let me write my, let me draw my example. So we're going to say, for example, and we're going to put, you write your own exponent now. So if you want to use two cubed or two to the third power, I'm going to use two to the third power, two cubed. You must put in your own. Uh, 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 that one is mine. That one is mine. So find the next one. Find the next one. I want you to also tell me in the chat now. So I want to show me in the chat what which one you're pushing. So I want to say, for example, and I'm going to put two to the third. So my example is two to the third. Example. Two to the third. Two to the third. And you can't just leave it like that. You have to label it. So this is our base. I'm sorry for my writing, guys, but I, I know you're writing it better than me. So this is our base. And this is our exponent, our power.
Go. I know you guys are writing it better than me. All right, so Jamie, um, Daniel is going to use 21 to the fourth power. Um, Jamie, Jamie's um, example is five to the fourth power. Very good. Casey's using up her carrot. I don't want you guys to forget how to write your carrots because it's not every time that you'll be able to write it neatly. So um, very good, Casey. We're going to have four to the second power. Um, so good examples, good examples. So you just label it, the base and the exponent. Angie has three to the sixth power. All right, very good. So the next thing now that you must write, the next thing that you must write, if you want somebody who, who take, what's the next thing you think you need to explain to somebody? If they, if, they, if, they, if they pick up your notebook and they didn't know anything about indices, what's the next thing you think you must write? Um, how to do it? Uh, excellent, excellent. Um, I'm seeing your answers, Xavier. You're very good with your carrot and um, ladies now. Um, five to the tens for one, three to the six. But very, very good. We need to know how to do it. So how, how can we explain how to do it now? We see, so my example is two to the third. This looks messy, I'm going to erase it. So my example was two to the third. Oh, Jesus. Is there an undo here? Yes. So, uh, okay. Mm -mm. All right, so I'm going, to, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to rewrite it down here. So my example is two to the third. So you have to work with your example, you know. <laughs> Xavier, you're going to have to write a little more than us because you have 10 things to go. So my example is here. I'm going to put two to the two cubed or two to the third power is written in how. How is mine? Before you do yours, how, how is this written? Um, two to the, to the third power. And are you going to do your answer? Or... Answer, two. what my answer? So we're going to have two and two times what? Two. Very good. How many times are we multiplying? Three. Three times. And this equals what? Two times two gives us? Eight. All right. Eight is the total answer because two times two is four. Very good. And four times two is eight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I will it. So our answer is eight. So you can put that you can put that example in your book. I'm going to give you a quick minute. So quick, quickly write that up. Quickly write that up. I like this. So you cannot say I was the one who came here and gave you notes. You all are the ones who are writing your own notes this morning. And I'm loving that. I think that will help you to remember indices wherever you go. So quickly write up um your finish working it out. Um I'm going to ask you to send a picture of your notes to the Google Classroom that I'm going to create just to ensure that there are no mistakes, right? So in the meantime, those are finished writing it up. So persons who have five to the tenth power, that is five by itself ten times. So just do that quickly. Tell me when you're finished. Very good, Casey. Uh, finish, finish, sir. Very good, Xavier. 30 seconds to go. Ten seconds. Finish. You can use if you have a the thing about indices. We don't stress you to work it out in your head. So if you do have a calculator, we won't, there's not a problem. You can you can um multiply it out. In fact, time is going to end on us. So I won't be able to show you how to put in the indices this morning, but we shall surely do that on our calculators um in our next class later. I have a really big number. 
Yes, repeat that. I got a really big number. Yes, um, sometimes the numbers get big. And you see why indices, I'm, that is why indices is important. Um, so we meet I later at 1.30 again. So we'll continue on that. I'll show you how to put it in a calculator to lessen the workload. All right, so is everybody okay now? Yes. Yes, sir. All right. So the last thing that we must do now is finally to tell. Um, so since we, we wrote out what it means, we just want to put a note. So I'm going to say note briefly. I want to put a note. My note, I think you must tell them what you did here. So I want to tell them what the base means and what the, and what the, and what the exponent means. So the base tells you dash and the exponent tells you dash. Who wants to fill in those dash for me? I would. All right, let's go. So the base tells us, tells us what? Okay, never mind. I forgot it. Um. Oh yeah, the base tells us, um, the number that um is gonna get multiplied. Okay, that works. Everybody, everybody wants to. Everybody agrees with that. It works for me. But if, if you want to put it a different way, you can tell me. Everybody want. Everybody agrees with that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, excellent. The base tells us the number that is going to be multiplied. I think we can even go extra and say by itself, just to be sure that nobody misinterprets our notes, but notes have to be correct. So the base tells us the number, sorry, I missed up my age here, the number that is going to be multiplied by itself, and then the exponent tells us what? The exponent tells us the number that, um, so the exponent tells us how much the number is gonna get multiplied by. Everybody agrees with that. That's what we want to write it. I'm not saying it is wrong, but everybody agrees with it. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, and I agree with it too. I'm going to change the word a little bit. So the um, but very good. The exponent tells us um how many times we're going to carry out that multiplication, right? Tells us how many times we are going to carry out that multiplication. Fair enough. Yes. All right, so just quickly finish that up and then we're going to just go back to some examples to ensure that we are, when we're finished right here, listen, as we look at some of these numbers, we should know them and just, we're just going to do like five more examples with the same quiz, the little, little game quiz we we're doing before. And then that will bring us to the end of this morning session. Later on, we'll try it a little further. So just tell me when you're finished writing your notes. Yes, Thank you, Xavier. Thank you, Casey. Very good, guys, this morning. Very, very good. I just love how you caught on very quickly. I really love this and I, 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 I enjoyed working with you this morning. Are you enjoying yourselves this morning so far? Don't lie, no, you can tell me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Right, very good, very good. All right, so am I good to stop sharing this and go back to our game just for a little bit? Yes, sir. All right, so let's go back to our game quickly we'll just do some more examples and then we'll break until later all right so we're here so what you realize now that you have to focus on guys you have to pay attention to what the instruction asks you to do 
here the instruction that asks you to find the value. So now you have to be careful. So don't just tell me two times, two times two. Here you just need to tell me the value. So pay attention to the instructions from now on. Ready to go, everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, excellent. Remember, type in the chat. I'm looking out to see everybody's response, but those who can type it first will get the point. So let's go. Next. What is the value of three cubed or three to the, oh, Pacheco was quick with that one. Three cubed or three to the third power, but I wonder if Jamie Pacheco is actually correct. Will we see any other responses in the chat? Xavier G gives us an interesting answer. He says three times three times three. Casey now comes in and says nine. So Casey and Pacheco, are on the same answer and then there's a different answer now that i'm seeing i'm seeing rodrigo saying 27 that's that's far from nine and i'm seeing two 27s now casey changed their answer to 27 so i wonder who is correct i'm still seeing a nine let me wait on one last answer is there oh I see Daniel saying that his answer is 729 so before i even go any further what i'll do is we want to work with this one. We can't, we can't just leave this one. I'm not going to just give you the answer for this one because the answers are too differing. The person who got nine, talk to me. How did you get your nine? Multiplied three times three times three. Three times three. What did we say? That, what is the base of this number? Three. Three, right? And the base tells us a number that is going to be... Multiplied. Number that is going to be multiplied by itself. So we know three is going to be multiplied by itself. Now, what, what is this little number up here? What does it tell us? That is going to be multiplied by three, three times. It's going to be multiplied. All right. So I didn't write that note a while ago. So everybody go back into your notebooks and look at what we said the exponent tells us. Look at what we said the exponent tells us. What do we say the exponent tells us based on the notes that you wrote? Mm -hmm. Are we looking in the book? Yes, sir. What does the exponent what does the exponent tells us? The number. Can we repeat? I'm sorry, I'm not hearing anybody at all. I'm just hearing pieces and, and grips. What does the exponent tell us? Tells what to do with a number. It tells us what to do with the number. The last sentence that you wrote in your book, what did it say? Mm -hmm. It tells us how many times we are going to carry out the multiplication. So we know that three has been multiplied by itself. So if this tells us how many times we are going to multiply three by itself, what does this become? You guys know it, you know. First of all, um, Xavier. He gave us, um, he told us, he gave us, he didn't give us the answer, you know. He gave us the, the um, what is how the multiplication set out. So he said three times, three times, three. And some persons actually got the correct answer. So why nobody's answering me? It tells us. Um, they, uh, all right. It tells us the amount of times you're going to multiply three by itself. So since it's three, it's going to be three times three times three. So, and I know you guys know this, but sometimes it gets, it tricks you, right? So you just look at this and it, because, you know, you just look at it, so three times three and it, and it give me nine. So it's actually not nine. So don't be afraid and don't rush. Take your time and write. You see, you see how I'm doing it? As big and as a math teacher as I am. I'm not going to work it out without saying three cubed. Okay, this means three times three times three. Then I give my answer because I know you can make mistakes. 
So now mm-hmm. that we know that this is three times three times three, let us work together. What is three times three? Three groups of three. If you don't have a calculator, you can just write three groups of three or it's what is three times three? All right, three times three times three is 27 because three times three is nine and nine times three is 27. So you can take it step by step if you so desire. I didn't hear that. Um, who was that, Casey? So this is the answer, 27. All right, so those who got it on the first try, very good. And remember, don't feel bad about yourselves. We all do make mistakes, and you know, people tend to make mistakes. We, it's 11, um, it's 10 30. So, just want to do one more, one quick one, one quick one before we go. The value. So, I don't want you to just tell me what it means. You're going to write out what it means in your book, but I want you to give me the value. Two to the fifth power. Let me see those answers. What will the answers be? Everybody get it correct? Or will we make it? What is the value of two to the fifth power? All right. So I guess we learned from our. I, I have them. I have them at my grandma's house.